Hello my fellow Royal fans and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Sheldon Moon and today's top story. The secret emails that sparked Mexit. The world was shocked when just a few days into the new year Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced they would be leaving the Royal family. And now the timeline of events leading up to the palace shakeup has been revealed. Despite early reports that neither the Queen nor Prince Charles knew of Harry and Meghan's plan to quit royal life, it now seems they did have notice. Albert, not a lot. According to UK papers The Evening Standard, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex plan to step down as senior royals began when Harry called his father on Christmas Eve to tell him that the pair wanted to make them move away from the family. While he and Meghan wanted to live primarily in Canada, they wanted to keep their home in Britain, Frogmore Cottage, Harry explained and planned to find commercial work to help them achieve financial independence. Charles, who was holidaying with his mother the Queen in Sandringham at the time, reportedly told Harry he needed more than just a vague idea of splitting from the family that raised him if he was serious about the move, and insisted he email Charles a detailed plan of how it would actually work. Clearly, the pair were eager to get the ball rolling, as they sent through their draft proposal days later. And according to palace sources who spoke to the Evening Standard, it was completely incoherent. The money didn't stack up, reports the newspaper. Taxpayers would still be forking out millions of pounds for round-the-clock security, and the tax perks that go with their grace and favour home. The Duchy of Cornwall would still be providing the bulk of the income, hardly most people's definition of financial independence. While Meghan and Harry were keen to embark on their new independent life as quickly as possible, the palace also had questions, other logistical questions, around the couple's immigration status in Canada and whether or not the pair already had commercial deals in place. They were complex implications of the Sussex's plan and Charles insisted the whole thing needs more time to be nutted out and it had to be done in person. It reached an impasse where his father said, we need to have these conversations in person. This is not something we can negotiate over email, the source told the Times. Harry agreed, but out of respect for the Queen, also wanted to speak to her about his plans. He has been communicating with her on the phone throughout. He wanted to see her, not to negotiate with her, but to talk to her grandson to Granny to say, this is how we have come to this, and this time source. This is where things allegedly fell apart. Despite initially welcoming to a visit for her grandson, the Queen was unavailable when he came to call, but made it clear that Harry and Meghan were not to announce their plans yet. Clearly, the request fell by the wayside, the Prince making his official public announcement on the afternoon of Wednesday, January 8th in Britain, a move that the Evening Standard reports deeply upset the Queen, who responded with her own statement. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button, leave your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe.